Okay, <clears throat> um, demonstrating uh, Singer Model 257 uh, uh, stitch function, uh, demonstrating the uh, working nature of the machine. Um, needle position is uh, right, middle, left. Stitching function for straight line. Stitching function for um, zigzag stitch at its widest point. As you can see, the needle is clearly going from side to side. Middle width. You can see it's clearly going from side to side, but not as far. Every uh, function on the machine has been tested. Um, you can see the foot action. That's forward. There's reverse. This is a uh, 20 stitches per inch. You can't see it demonstrated, but you can look at the motion of the foot. Six stitches per inch. As you can see, the foot is traveling further. Um, these are stitches that I did in a uh, paper uh, shop towel. Um, the stitches are uniform, uh, barely any tearing on the paper towel. Okay, um, I'm going to try to demonstrate how to thread the top portion of the machine. On this you need to go down through that plate you want to get behind that little arm come up and thread from right to left through the draw arm or the tension arm And come down to right, right down here. There's a little curly cue down here. Kind of difficult to get threaded. You want to come up. <clears throat> you want to go behind the curly cue, up and forward. That's right here. I don't know if you can see, but there's a little, the end of the curly cue is kind of down and back. And you want to get up above you want to get up above that curly cue to get it in the center. Now in order to do this properly you want this arm to be all the way up and the needle to be up as far as it'll go. Makes it easier to load the thread into the eye of the needle. And you can push this plate forward once you got the bobbin in place. And uh, what I do is I wet the tip of my finger and wipe it onto the thread to make sure that any loose little bits <clears throat> or wrapped up and I'm sure there's a better way to do this but at the moment I don't know it
It's easy enough when you have good eyes. But poor eyes like mine require a little help. To load the bobbin on this machine, you need to pull the thread forward to about that. There's a little notch right there. Pull it forward to that notch and make sure that the thread goes underneath the little mechanism there. <clears throat> and then bring the thread on top of the foot plate and back. That's how you do that. Now the next trick is to pull the bobbin thread up through the, uh, the, the foot plate. And to do that, you run the machine by hand with the wheel and pull it out. Okay. Hold the thread with your finger. Rotate the machine by hand and as you can see the uh, orange thread is sweeping across the top of the bobbin and dragging the blue thread with it. Now, everything's kind of loose, so I end up pulling the orange thread on the top, take out any slack, and draw it up. Tighten up the, take the slack out of the orange thread again. Now you can see the blue th thread has been drawn up with the orange thread. There are several different types of bobbins available for sewing machines of this type. And I'm not just saying Singer, I'm saying uh, I've got a brother machine that I use personally. And uh, the Brothers Bobbins, this one and that one, they're at about the same height. It will not work in this machine because they're too tall. I had to go to Walmart and buy a special Singer Bobbin. And as you can see, that Singer Bobbin is slightly lower in profile than the one for my brothers. Um... The bobbin that I found that works, and there may be others, is the Class 66 bobbin. At Walmart, the only ones that I could find were pre-threaded. Pre uh, everything else was a Class 15 or 15 something or other. Uh, those were empty. They were cheaper, but this wasn't terribly expensive. I think this was like $3 compared to, uh, or $3 for 12 threaded bobbins, I think, something along those lines, and the others were like two bucks for 12 unthreaded bobbins, so the, the extra cost is minimal. The only downside to these threaded bobbins is that you only have a choice of black and white. You don't, you, you can't spin up a different color until you use up the thread that's in these bobbins. And I suppose it's easy enough to spool them from one bobbin to the next so that you could get the smaller bobbin. But if you don't have the extra bobbins, that would be, I suppose, the downside. Not a major thing, it's a minor thing. But uh, you uh, may end up having to waste a spool in order to get the proper color. Unless you can, of course, find the proper bobbins online and you're willing to wait. This particular machine has been cleaned and fully lubricated. It is fully functioning. Works well. Actually works much better than my brother's machine, which has all the bells and whistles. Uh, the only downside to this machine is you got to do a little thinking. The brother's machine claims to or seems to be easier to use, but in the long run is actually worse, harder, because it doesn't function as well. Uh, Seriously considering getting one of these for myself. The downside to this machine is that this arm 
is not adjustable. On my brothers, I can pull pieces off and allow allow a room for uh, sleeves and pants legs and stuff like that. Um, on this one, I can't do that, so I'd have to figure out a different way to sew those. Uh, again, not a big issue uh, if you're creative, but if you're used to the modern conveniences, it might be a small problem. Um, there are a number of tutorials online on you know how to use this machine, all the different functions that it has. As you can see up here, you've got various stitches. Uh, this is a straight line stitch. It goes all the way over to a wide width uh, zigzag pattern. Needle positioned. The stitch uh, count. That's six stitches per inch. This would be eight stitches per inch. And this knob adjusts it so that it's stays in place. This would be 12 stitches per inch. You see on the other side you've got 7, 10, 15, and you got 20. And then this would be fine for things like uh, lingerie, I suppose, or uh, hosiery. And all the way up is reverse. So that backs the machine out. Um, most of the stuff that I use a sewing machine for is uh, patching my work shirts. That's uh, that's the Singer Fashion Mate Fashion Mate well, let's see, Fashion Mate 257. Um, actually a very, very solid machine. It uh, comes with the original instruction book. The basic foot, an additional foot that I have not explored the use of, and the, the full cover. Everything works the way it's supposed to. There are some minor Minor issues with uh, some small imperfections, you know, a little chip in the enamel here, some very slight scratches on the cover, very slight discoloration on the top of the machine, but uh, it works very well. Um, it has been disassembled, or not fully disassembled, but taken Taken, the cover's taken off and every moving part has been lubricated. The motor has been disassembled and inspected and the bearings lubricated. Uh, everything is in functioning order. The belts look to be in good shape. Let me see if I can pull this the drive belt on the bottom is in good shape. 